Mistake number five is not having an outcome for every interaction. It's really important to have an outcome that's achievable and, and really measurable. Now, every salesperson will go into a meeting, for example, and want to close a sale. But for me, that is the big picture outcome, but there needs to be some stepping stones along the way. They need to go in with a set of objectives that actually means that the first level of interaction is going to be much more about starting the relationship or developing the relationship and moving it on rather than let's close the sale because that puts them in their own space, their own map and stops them developing great levels of rapport. The things that you need to watch out for is language that they use. You know, I worked with a client recently who said that they went along to meetings and said, let's see what happens. And they used to go along in pairs and meet at the client's premises. And what they found after they learned about the psychology of, of setting outcomes is that if they met half an hour before the meeting, worked out what they wanted to achieve in the meeting, then the meeting was more successful and it transformed their conversion rate. So where, as a manager of salespeople, it's really important that you notice and ask constantly, what's your outcome for this call? What's your outcome for this meeting? What's your outcome for this presentation? So that they have in the forefront of their mind what they really want to achieve. You'll notice that people who have very general outcomes will go virtually through the motions. They will use the same process for every client. It won't be tailored. So start to get them to do that. And you can do that very easily by asking the questions before a meeting and asking after the meeting the way in which it went against their outcome for that meeting. What you'll get, the benefits I guess, of doing that and getting more proactive at that is that you'll get salespeople who think more. They'll be more thoughtful about what results they achieve from the actions that they take. They will plan their meetings more effectively and they will tailor their approach to the client or prospect that they're meeting with.